Hello. Let's sew this no suit together. We will sew with a very dense insulation 200 grams per 1 meter. The suit will come out very warm. The link to the pattern can be found in the description under the video. The suit is equipped with a detachable hood and detachable fur. It is very convenient for washing. For sewing, we will need any jacket fabric. Better if it is a fabric with a membrane. I also took some fabric in a contrasting color for beauty. Fleece for hood and bodice. And smooth lining for legs and sleeves. Elastic band 2 and a half centimeters wide and 5 centimeters wide. For the belt, elastic for suspenders 2 and a half centimeters wide. Decorative elastic band, center zip and belt buckle. If you want to make an edging and a detachable hood, you will need fur and two additional zippers. Insulation with a density of 200 grams per 100 centimeters for the main parts. And a little insulation with a density of 100 grams per 100 centimeters for the hood and zipper strip. Cut the details of the hood two side, center, and front stripe. Two pieces of snow protection and cuffs for it. Two front parts. Immediately draw on the fabric the contours of the pockets and the sewn line of the flap. the pattern with tape. It will still be useful to us. Transfer the mark of the middle of the armhole to the fabric. Transfer marks of belt holders. the pattern again. Cut out two large pieces and four small pieces for the belt holders. Cut out one piece of the collar and neckline from the main fabric. Cut out one piece of the zipper strip from the main fabric. Cut out two sleeves and mark the highest point in front on it.
Cut out two cuff sleeves. Cut out four details of pockets and flaps. I cut them out of fabrics of different colors. Now you need to cut the lining. Cut the patterns of the front and back parts along the lines. Fold over the allowance and cut the back part with a fold made of fleece. From the bottom, add a seam allowance of 1 cm. Cut the back of the pants from a smooth lining. Along the cut lines add allowances for the seam 1 cm wide. Cut the lower parts of the legs from the main fabric. Make the front lining in the same way. Fleece upper with bottom allowance. The front of the pants is made of a smooth lining fabric with allowances at the top and bottom. Bottom of the legs from the main fabric with an allowance on the upper cut. Cut the sleeves out of a smooth lining and mark the highest point in front on it. Cut out the details of the hood from fleece. And one collar piece and one zipper strip piece. Cut out two pieces of snow protection from the lining fabric. Pin the two front two backs and sleeves to the insulation with a density of 200 grams per 100 centimeters. Cut with an allowance of 1 centimeter. Pin the hood and one collar part to the insulation with a density of 100 grams per 100 centimeters. Stitch around the perimeter. Cut off excess. Put the details of the pocket face to face and sew on three sides. Cut off the corners and turn to the front side. Put the flaps parts face to face and sew on three sides, leaving the top unsewn. Cut off the corners and turn to the front side. Stitch off the flaps. Focusing on the contours to sew on the pockets. 
arrange the pockets so that the non-sewn side coincides with the side seam. Guiding along the line to sew on the flaps. You can put the buttons, but you can leave it as it is. Put the belt holder parts face to face and sew around the perimeter, leaving a hole for turning out. Cut corners and turn out. Stitch around the perimeter. Using the contours to sew small belt holders to the back of the suit. Sew the back pieces along the center seam. Sew a large belt holder. There are small protruding allowances on the front parts. For these allowances you need to sew both parts. Now both parts fit exactly to each other. If you want to make fur, you need to transfer the markings under the zipper to the details of the hood. Sew hood details. Make cuts. Retreat from the lower edge of the hood by 3 cm on the left and right sides. Make marks.
measure the distance between marks. In this case, I got 64 centimeters. This will be the length of our fur. It is very difficult to find a zipper of the right length every time. Therefore, I took a zipper longer than 64 centimeters and will shorten it. I measure 64 centimeters from the bottom end of the zipper and mark. Step from the marks up another 3 cm and make marks again. Cut off the zipper at the top marks. Pliers and pull out the zipper teeth from the mark to the top edge. Insert the extracted tooth between the two upper teeth. Melt with a lighter and form a fastening element. Do the same with the other half of the zipper. To the hood you need to sew half a zipper without a slider. Find the middle of the zipper and the middle of the hood and sew on the zipper using the center and edge marks. The line of the zipper teeth should line up with the line on the hood. Now you need to cut out a strip of exactly the same size as hood weld piece. Just in case, measure its length. The strip should be at least 3 cm longer than the zipper. Fold the strip along the right side inward and sew on the short sides. Cut off the corners and turn to the front side. Find the middle of the strip. Align the zipper middle marks and stripes. 
The strip must be sewn so that the unsewn edge runs along the edge of the zipper and the sewn edge is turned in the opposite direction to the zipper. Bend the strip so that it covers the zipper and sews. We start working with fur. I found a small piece only 10 cm wide. For this I will make a central seam. But it is better to take a piece 20 cm wide and bend it along. Measure the same length as we measured for the zipper. In my case 64 cm and add a centimeter to the seam allowance. Since the edge will be composite, we will need two such lengths. Compare with long zipper. Sew one long and one short side. Cut out a strip of length equal to double the length of the fur, plus 2 cm for allowances. In this case, the length of the strip is 64 cm multiplied by 2 and plus another 2 cm. The result is 130 centimeters. Strip width 5 centimeters or 2 inches. Fold the strip along the wrong side inward and sew along the long side. Put the edge of the fur and stripes face to face along the seamed edge of the stripe. Fold the end of the strip 1 cm inside and sew along the entire edge of the fur. Turn to the front side. Now you need to sew a zipper between the halves of the strip.
so the fleece details of the hood leave a small hole for turning out Find the center Add weld piece for hood, find the middles of the long and short sides Aligning the mark so one long side of the weld piece to the lining, and the other to the shell Fold the resulting part along the marks and pin it with pins along the bottom edge Measure the length of the bottom edge this will be the length of the zipper for attaching the hood. In this case I got 41 cm. We return to the zipper that was set aside for sewing into the neckline. We measure the resulting length and mark it in the same way as a zipper for fur. Shorten zipper. Sew part of the zipper with a slider into the lower part of the hood. The zipper slider should be facing the shell. Insert the weld piece between the lining and the shell as far as possible, leave the edges with the sewn on zipper, and sew along the seam allowance. Turn the hood through the hole to the front side It remains to sew the hole, and the hood is completely ready
Sew the other half of the zipper from the hood to the collar. Position the zipper on the collar so that its beginning coincides with the beginning of the zipper on the hood and the hood was fastened correctly. Over the zipper, sew a strip of the neckline, so the lightning will not be conspicuous and the view will be very neat. Sew a collar with a zipper to the front of the neckline, but not all the way, 